Hey you guys, so today's video is going to be kind of a chit chat, get ready with me, super glam transformation. Um, I just felt like trying out a bunch of new products here on camera. The haul that I did recently got you guys all excited wanting me to try some new things and share with you how I felt about them. So I figured I'd put pretty much all of them in this video and we check them out together. We got some new foundation, some new eyeshadow palettes, bronzers, new highlighters, new contour kits. We got some new setting sprays. We've got new eyebrow products. It's a little bit of everything in here. So basically today we're just getting glam together and talking about different products. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure you subscribed if you have not and if you are subscribed make sure that you click the little notification bell. That way you can be notified immediately every time I upload a video and you won't miss anything. Also make sure you come find me on Snapchat and Instagram if you have not. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's just get started. I have nothing on my skin right now. We are literally going from beginning to end. Normally, I start my videos with my brows, but I thought I would show you guys the whole kit and caboodle. I'm not going to be teaching so much today as I'm going to be just kind of talking about the products I'm using. Um, so this will not be the most in-depth tutorial in the world, but if there's anything in here that you really want me to do something very dedicated to, you can absolutely drop me a line down below and I will get started on that. So today, I'm just going to wing it and see what we come up with. And my contour routine that I'm doing today is something different that I've been kind of playing with lately um so it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a lot going on today because we're doing all of the things full-blown glam hold on to your butt all right so the first thing i do when i'm doing my makeup without fail is i apply some lip balm this is the aquaphor lip repair i have a two on my editing desk i have one on my vanity on my nightstand in my purse in my car like I cannot stand to not have lip balm on. So my skin has been like really dry lately, definitely because of the weather. So I'm going to apply a moisturizing primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's a very hydrating but lightweight primer. I'm also gonna spray my face with the Pixi Vitamin Makeup Mist. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through my brows really quickly. I do have a brow routine. It's kind of out of date, but this is pretty similar to what I was doing then. Um, I'm gonna take the It Cosmetics Brow Power Brow Powder in the color Transforming Taupe. I've been using the crap out of this. I love this brow color. I think it's such a nice formula. Um, it's really, really pigmented, so it's really easy to get in there and create hair-like strokes, whereas I feel like a lot of other brow powders can be a little bit more stiff, but this one's really creamy and pigmented. First thing I do is I fill in the bulk of my brows using my powder. Considering getting microblading done, isn't that crazy? When I first saw that, I was like, don't do it, everyone! And now I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh, if I could just have my brows on always, I would feel so much better about myself. So basically I use the powder just to create the rough shape of what I'm gonna do and then I use my pencil to kind of create more definition and do any extra filling in that I need to do to give me like big bodacious brows. Then I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Bra- or no, it's called the Legendary Brows and it's in the color Supermodel. And I'm just gonna use this to create like movement throughout my brow. It'll lock my brows in place, but it'll also create really pretty definition and movement in them. It will basically just like create movement in my brows and make it so you can see the hair. Sometimes when you're doing, or I think most of the time when you do a brow, like when you fill it in, all of the powder and stuff kind of makes your brows look really one dimensional and I don't like that. So something like this that adds a little bit of texture and movement while also locking them into place, I think is a great product to have on hand. 
Next, I'm going to take concealer. This is a Tem2 concealer wheel. Tem2 is an airbrush makeup company. I just started using this a really long time ago when I was freelancing, and I love it. And I've replaced it like a million times. But what I like about this one is it's really creamy, but really pigmented. And basically, all I'm going to do is take a really flat, stiff, sharp brush. This one's from MAC. I don't know the number because I've rubbed it off. I'm just going to carve out the underside of my brows, which is really going to clean it up and sharpen it and I also do this because it helps with the way I do my eyeshadow and like priming it so having this light concealer just like dead underneath my brows it just makes things look really clean it's like something I have to do every time I do my eyeshadow without fail once I put that on and drag it down a little bit I will take my Sigma 3D HD precision and just kind of blend it out and make sure it's not too harsh and I'm telling you like I feel like this just makes the biggest difference in how my brows look it really sharpens up the tail end of it lifts them up a little bit more I used to put this on the top side of my brows as well which I don't know what I was thinking, but just doing it on the underside, I really like how it just creates a super clean um, canvas for me to apply eyeshadow on. And I'm doing my eyes first today because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like going for it. Primer, I am using the Urban Decay Shadow Potion in the color Eden. I have in my skin, as you can see on camera, a lot of pink in my skin. Um not one of those people that has like flawless like even toned skin and that is not limited to my eyelids you can see my veins through my eyelids there's some pigmentation so I really like when I'm doing a glam look to completely cancel that out and then I'm gonna go ahead and set all of that work with my translucent powder and literally yes this is what I go through every single time I do my makeup, at least when I do like full glam. So for eyes today, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette and the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Um, I just did a full blown review and kind of demo using this palette on my channel and I figured I would just use it again because I'm trying to use the new stuff that I got. I would use just the chocolate palette and I might try to use just the chocolate palette but there's really only like four matte shades in here. But this green shade on my middle finger is just really pretty. It's like it's like green but it's still kind of neutral and I have like this look in my mind of like something cool I could maybe do with it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what I'm doing yet. We're just Figuring it out as we go, people. I'm gonna mix this color right here called Pooter with this color here called So Bougie. You absolutely don't have to mix them, but whatever, I'm just filling it. Next, I'm gonna dip into this color right here called Buns. Fun buns are my favorite types of buns. I'm going to go ahead and start patting this on this outer corner because I know I'm going to create some depth right there. Pretty much always do that. Next I'm going to this color right here which is called Jax. Cranberry red color. I haven't done like a red tone look in a while. You guys have been asking for one so why not? I'm going to take this color right here called Chip, this on my outer corner to kind of smoke it out. And I might do a cut crease with this. I don't really know. It's looking really perp, like cranberry right now. And I don't want it to look quite so like red or whatever. Um, so I'm going to try to use some more neutral colors in the depth creating process to kind of tone that down a little. This look is giving me very 2016 Whitney, <laughs> like very purple and burgundy. I really did not mean to take it that direction, but here we are. Um, I'll probably add some black to try to deepen it out even more. I've decided against doing the cut crease and I'm just gonna do a bam glitter shimmery lid. I'm gonna take the color Classy and Sassy right here in the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. Um, to me, this palette is like the palette 
for lid colors. I mean, there's like I said, a couple of mattes in here, but this is such a beautiful collection of gorgeously pigmented, super, just amazing lid colors. I don't really wear shimmer in the crease. That's probably all the use I'm gonna get out of it. So I'm just gonna take that shadow on a flat brush and see what happens. Oh my gosh. This just goes on like a friggin' dream. Such a pretty formula, oh my gosh. Holy crap. You don't have to use a glitter glue. You don't have to use um, any kind of setting spray to make this have like the beautiful this sort of metallic sheen that this has it just comes right out of the pan onto your brush this large and in charge like oh my goodness this might be the best like kind of shimmery eyeshadow formula I've ever seen. The three-in-one spray I talked about in my haul I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it before I apply my foundation so for foundation, I'm going to use this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It is beautiful. I used it the other day when I was doing my makeup and I was just so impressed with it. I didn't have to use, like, I think I had to put like just this much, ended up covering my entire face. So for my brush, I'm gonna use the Smith 115 to apply it. Obviously, this does not match the skin on my face, but it matches the skin on my body and my chest. That's what you want to match your foundation to. If you're someone like me and you are exfoliating your skin really regularly, your skin on the face is always going to be lighter than the skin on the body, especially if you use a sunless tanner like I do. I don't believe in sunbathing in any shape, wear, or form. So it's sunless tanning for me all day, every day. And as a result, I'm just different colors. It's really not the end of the world. Okay, so now I have a layer of foundation on. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna read on camera, but in person, it's very, very lightweight. It's full coverage. I, don't, I would not consider this a medium to me. This is pretty full. I'm actually gonna um, work on everything else and really give this time to set so I can powder as little as possible because the way my skin looks in person is just so glowy and beautiful. Using cream bronzing and cream contouring with powder contouring and powder bronzing, which I said I would, I used to like never do. I thought it was way too much. But what I've learned is if I do just a little bit of each, like just a little bit, it makes my makeup, first of all, last for absolutely forever. And number two, it looks a lot more natural than just using powders. I can't explain it. I know it doesn't sound like it makes any sense in this world to use this much makeup and get a more natural finish, but it does. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this Cover Effects Bronzer. This is in the color Sunset right here. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. And with a Duo Fiber Brush, I'm just gonna start working this lightly on the areas of my face that I would bronze. This stuff is very liquidy, so you don't wanna use too much. And I'm gonna take my contour stick and I'm just gonna put a very little line like I don't like to use too much of this because like I said we're going in with other contour products after and I'll just blend this out it's the same brush that I did the liquid bronzer with because I feel like it just kind of blends it a little bit better into that bronzer shade I'm gonna go ahead and conceal using my Urban Decay Naked Skin in the color Medium Light Neutral. Now, you could totally leave it like this and it would give you a very pretty um, 
soft contour and highlight situation. You could take some translucent powder and just dust over it and it would be fine. So this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Powder. I'm going to try something I normally don't do. Normally when I bake my under eye area, I set underneath my eyes using, I use my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish to lightly set the areas of my face that I'm going to bake because I find that if I don't, the powder will just kind of cling to the emollient nature of the concealer that I'm using and kind of not give me a very smooth finish. So always adding a light layer of powder underneath the areas that I need to bake seems to do a really nice job of like helping locking it in and brightening it and also giving it a very smooth finish. But today I'm going to try doing that with this instead of my powder, which I'm nervous about. I think I'm going to mix these two colors and I'm going to apply that using my Wayne Goss airbrush. Ooh, see. Ooh. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> that is a very, do you see the difference? Like, holy crap, that is a brightening powder. That's beautiful. It's very, very lightweight. Um, it's a very nice powder. Wow, that's nice. Ooh, that's a pretty, this is a pretty powder. Okay, my Derma Blend powder, and now I'm gonna just bake. I'm gonna put this underneath my eye, my forehead, and a little bit down the bridge of my nose. Let that sit for like a minute and a half, two minutes, dust it off, and then we will uh, keep on keeping on with this glam formation. So I'm going to dust all of this away using the same brush that I applied my, uh, the same brush that I used to apply the Tarte brightening powder with. Okay, now I'm going to do my lash line. So I'm going to take a little bit more of my primer potion, get it right there on my lash line. I have to say this Tarte powder is really pretty under the eyes, like... It's very pigmented, but it's also very, um, very smooth. It's very, very pretty. I'm really, I'm really, really liking this. Okay, under the eyes, I'm going to start off with the color that I started in my crease, which was Pooter. <laughs> I'm going to take the color Pooter and start smoking out my lash line, inner corner to outer corner, like I always do. I cannot not do my lash line. I swear every time I'm editing footage of like a tutorial, the difference that doing my lash line makes on the entirety of my face is just unbelievable. Like it's such a drastic difference. I put a little something because my eyes are so like downturned and like I feel like they're on the smaller side. All my life, especially once I got into makeup, I was always very <laughs> jealous and frustrated with the fact that I didn't have like perfectly round, symmetrical, like big eyes with like a nice crease. Like I've had to create my own illusion as far as my eyes are concerned. But you can do that and that is the beauty and power of makeup. So I'm going to take the Urban Decay Eyeliner in the color Alkaline and I'm going to run this just underneath my waterline. I'm not going to put it in my waterline. I'm just going to run this through my lashes because I want to smudge it out. Run this just in between my lashes so I can smudge it out and make it really smoky. Such a unique eyeliner. I've never seen one this color. And I'm going to take that kind of red cranberry color that I used on my crease and use that to smoke it out. I'm going to take the Buxom Eyeliner in the color Call Me and put this in my waterline and smudge it out too. Take the color Decadent and kind of blend this in with that purple that I have underneath the eye. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and mascara. So when I do my lashes, basically all I do is curl them. I apply a generous coat of Tarte Man Eater Mascara to the top and bottom lashes and then I just take a pair of tweezers and pop my falsies on and I am, as usual, using Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. I'm 
gonna take my Capri Coast bronzer from Becca. I told you guys I picked this up recently, and I'm not gonna use too much of it because I've already applied a liquid bronzer, but I just wanna see to really get this in my hair and then take it off later. Okay. This is a nice shade of bronzer. So this bronzer is really nice. It's very beautiful in color and it has a very skin-like finish to it. So I was worried it was gonna be really shimmery when in fact it's actually just very skin-like, which is super nice. I really love it. So pretty. Then I'm gonna take the Park Avenue Princess Contour Kit and I'm going to mix Princess Cut and Angle together. I'm gonna to go in really slow because I don't need a lot by way of contour. I already have a little bit of a contour going, but this is just to zhuzh it up and take it up a notch. I told you we're doing full glam today. Ooh. Okay, so these powders in the Tarte kit, the Princess kit, are pigmented, like beautifully pigmented. So don't want to use, like you want to take it really slow. I think this might be my new favorite contour kit I've ever used. It's so nice. So for highlighter, I'm going to use the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter. Mine's in the color Sparkling Peach. I'm calling it Sparkling Peach because I don't know what the French pronunciation is. And I don't like feeling like an idiot. Oh wait, no, do I want to do I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this on before I do blush and then after. Because I feel like it blends a little bit better and looks a little bit more when I do it before and after, it just makes it look a little bit more seamless and not so like Hi, you have highlighter on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply blush. This is NARS Madly. It's basically my favorite blush in the world. I'm gonna take this Makeup Forever lip liner in the color number 12 just to outline my lips. And I tend to overline just a little bit even though I have lip filler. I think I'm gonna get a little bit more done because I want them a little bit more plump. I hope I'm not in the beginning stages of full-blown lip filler addiction, but the girl who does my lips will never allow me to go too crazy because she's amazing. I'm gonna take this liquid lipstick from Stila and I'm just going to run this as close to that lip line as I can possibly get it. This lip gloss from Dose of Colors called Over the Top from the Date from the Desi and Katie collection. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please make sure you thumbs up if you do enjoy it. Make sure you are subscribed. Check the down bar for links to all my social media platforms and information about the products that I used in this video today. And I will catch you in the next one.